There's something about this girl, man, from around my way. Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Candace, and I'm back here today to give you a Walmart Look for Less lookbook for fall. That's a lot to say, but that's what we're doing today. I decided I wanted to do this lookbook because I am on a budget and I've worked in fashion and I know that things do not cost as much as sometimes we pay for them and you can still look cute if you know how to shop. So that's what this whole lookbook is all about. All of my pieces are from Walmart except for my boots because I already had them in my closet. I wasn't going to buy new boots, but they're all very affordable boots um, as well as my blazers. Some of my blazers were seen in my earlier Goodwill thrifting haul video um, and mostly all my blazers either come from the thrift store except for one blazer came from Macy's and that was only because I had a gift card or else I wouldn't have been shopping at Macy's. I was inspired by a few YouTubers here on the tube that had done Walmart lookbooks. Um, they inspired. They were inspired by different celebrity looks, so I was inspired by them. There was one young lady who went ahead and bought a pair of men's jeans. So I have been having a hard time finding jeans that fit me. The only jeans that really fit my hips, thip, hips, dips, thighs, and everything in between are Old Navy's size four long length jeans. Those jeans, the Rockstar cut. <laughs> everything and when I saw her try on these George Walmart jeans I was like all right I'm on it I went and online found these jeans for only $12 so I said I'm gonna go to the store and I got the black pair that you'll see in this video and honey I fell in love they fit perfectly the only complaint I have is um they are like maybe a half an inch lower than high rise and a little bit higher than mid rise so they kind of sit right where my muffin top glove handles are, but that's not the jeans fault. That's my muffin top's fault. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, but I have not been working out for the past year. And that's evident because none of my clothes fit. But I'm okay with the new extraness of myself. And you should be too if that's something that you're happy with. So the first thing I actually picked up from this haul were these black denim jeans. These jeans are everything to me. They are the perfect length because I got a 32 inch inseam. Again, I'm 5'7 and a half. I weigh in between 135 to 150 pounds, depending on the day, the month, and the year. Um, but these jeans are everything. They fit my lovely thunder thighs and they fit my waist perfectly. My waist is 28 inches. These sit a little bit lower because they are 29, but I'm okay with them and I love them. And because of these jeans, I actually went back and got the dark blue and the medium blue babies. My only complaint about these jeans are that when you do sit down, there is a lot of excess fabric. I don't know if you, you can't see it. Let me raise my chair up so you can see it. Okay, can you see this now? All right. When you sit down, there's a little bit of a fupa that happens here. And then you get a lot of this because these jeans have no stretch in them. There is no lycra, no spandex. <laughs> Lower myself like that. There's no lycra, there's no spandex, there's no stretch in these jeans. Um, but because of that, I was in love because these are the kind of jeans that you will wash. And every time you wash them, they will get better and better and better. And I am so here for that movement right now because all of my spandexy jeans have... Are worn out all of the spandex is worn out of all my jeans again my thunder thighs be rubbing this cheddar be rubbing and it just makes the it just wears the jeans down so fast so these nice thick jeans these dad jeans are like perfect for a long wear honey girl baby child i put these sweatpants on and they are from the men's section and they do have women's ones but for some reason the women ones they're just I don't know why they think we want to have everything super tight, super fitted. I don't know. And then they always run out of the size. I got a small bottom and a medium top from the men's department. Each of these pieces were $7. They were like six fifty dollars or something like that. They are so nice and warm on the inside. They have this great fleece inside. They are super comfortable. Like, I honestly have been living in all of these clothes since I picked them up about two weeks ago. And I'm going back for the sweat outfit in like black and white in like every color. I'm going back for those because those were, they're just so nice. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, the next piece I got were the sports bras. So the sports bras were great. They came in this pack of three. 
the sports balls came in this pack of three i have one on still so the medium gray that you'll see in the video um and these were 11 dollars for the three and you were able to get them instead of small medium large by your broad band size so 36 34 32 whatever um the only thing is is no one ever has 34s so i had to get a 36 it's a little big but it's nothing crazy these sports brawls though are the kind that are gonna last you forever i've had these before and they literally lasted me for years graphic tees again all of my pieces are from the men's department i typically shop through the women's um department but all of these pieces are from the men's department because the department was popping um the graphic tee i don't know why they don't think women went cool graphic tees like this but we get the little chintzy like oh my gosh haters love me oh my goodness beautiful all day like who's wearing <laughs> who's wearing those graphic tees anyway i got my black panther tee from walmart and you might have seen it in my graphic tee video how to style a graphic tee but i absolutely love graphic t-shirts the ones here are about eight dollars in the men's department um and they have all kinds so if you're looking for ones that aren't so girly, chintzy, kitsch, kitschy, but like these ones are really kind of cool, kind of a little bit of tough, have more of those band edge tees than just plain Forever 21. Oh my gosh, rainbows and unicorns, which sometimes are so cute, but sometimes those are not cute. Like I'm grown. Let's talk about this turtleneck. So this turtleneck I got from Walmart, it is um, from the women's department. This was the one piece I got from the women's department and it was the one piece that I liked the absolute least in this haul. I needed a plain white turtleneck because I have a bunch of other colors. So when I saw this, I grabbed it up. It was $9 or $8. Um, and I hate this material. Um, unfortunately, I've already worn it, so I'm not going to take it back. But this material is like, it's not see-through really. Like you can, if you really stretch it and you throw some light on it, you can see through it a little bit. Um, but you have to wear an undershirt because it is the clingiest knit material ever that you will see especially if you're wearing a bra without padding you'll see every single nipple that you ever owned if you are wearing a bra without padding you will see all the lines the dips the grooves everything from your bra so you have to wear an undershirt with this just because it clings like no one's business to your body so one of my other favorite pieces in this haul between the jeans and the sweatshirts is this lovely thing i was actually looking for a completely different piece when i went to the men's apartment um and I found this and they actually had a bunch of different colors and this is another one I'm going back for. So I'm going back for the sweatpants and I'm going back for this hoodie. Like I got this one in, I got it in a, a large. They didn't have any mediums when I was there, but honey, that sweatshirt is everything plus more. I'm actually going to try to go to a few different Walmarts because they had like a white, black and a dark green, but I think they only had smalls. Um, I would go down to a medium just because I feel like the large is almost too large in some instances. And then I'm, like, as you've seen styled here, I feel like it's perfect for a dress, um, or with least with, uh, biker shorts under it. If you really are like, oh, it's cold, can't you're crazy, you can wear like, um, leggings with the thigh high boots and leggings and all of that that you saw me style it with like it could be super cute for when you have to go out but you don't want to actually get dressed to go out but you still have to physically arrive and look presentable and then go home and snuggle so i ended up in the accessories department i love berets i absolutely adore berets the other beret that you saw in this video which i have so this is my black beret. This is not from Walmart. This is from the thrift store for like $2 that I got back when I was in college. This is the one from Walmart. You can see one's, is the Walmart one's a little bit bigger, which is cool though. They both have their little, yeah. Um, honestly, they had one with pearls on it. It was a black one with pearls. I was gonna get it, but I knew I had this black one at home, so I decided to go for a red. They had a cheetah print one, which I was like, eh, I'm gonna have to go back and get that. I just love these because they're great for days where you don't feel like doing your hair or you want to look a little bit more fashionable but you don't want to try too hard or you don't feel like doing your hair or <laughs> you want to go and look like you're cultured even though no one in Paris actually wears these um you could pretend that you're on on petit uh but I absolutely love these hats all right so while I was in the accessories department I actually picked up this little wallet it comes with these removable straps which are super cute for the days where you want to um just grab your wallet and use it as a purse it has a bunch of different compartments I have been 
using it so i put all my cards in this side receipts this pocket over here is wide enough for cash so i put cash in here um i put some change in the front there and then back here it's kind of one of these little accordion things my phone my iphone xr xs fits in there um and it's like a little bumpy but then i can also just throw like a lipstick in there like this and suddenly I'm ready to go. But last but not least, these are actually a rebuy. So these lovely little sneakers here by Av uh, Avia, um, these are super cute. They are about $17. Um, they have ones that are black and white. I just rebought the white ones because I wore them all summer. All summer. I had a friend complain to me because he was like, you're wearing Walmart sneakers all summer. And I was like, you're, you need to mind your business all summer. I love the sneaks because they give you that dad shoe look. Again, they're $17. So when they get dirty, I just throw out the old ones and then I have a fresh new pair of white sneakers, um, which to me is like a make or break part of your outfit. I absolutely think they're super comfortable. I've walked and worn them all day. And I mean like walk like miles in them, which I love because they are very easy and comfortable shoes. All right guys, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know in the comment section if, if Walmart by you has like things like these that you can find or if there's something else that you wanna see me do. Until next time guys, peace. Number size four, number size four. My neighbors are upstairs playing tag, I swear. Like, I don't know what's going on. Again, I think my neighbors are upstairs rolling marbles. I don't know what's going on.